Hey everybody, I'm Rick Schwartz and I'm here at Utah's Hogle Zoo. You know, every now and then you have to take medicine. In fact, you might be taking medicine now. But have you ever wondered, how do you give a giraffe medicine or even a toad? Well, today we're going to find out right here on San Diego Zoo Kids. So I heard we are going to see how to give medicine to a giraffe, elephants, I think a big cat or two, sloths, and even a toad. Hey, Dr. Eric, how's it going? Hey, Rick, what's up? Well, I heard you're going to show me how to give medicine to certain animals today. You bet. I was just checking out the zebra and the guinea fowl, but let's go. All right, excellent. All right, Dr. Erica, who are we hanging with right now? This is a sloth, and her name is Kohlrabi. This is so cool. Now, we have been talking about giving medicine to different animals. How do you give a sloth medicine? Well, everyone loves fruit, right? Well, Kohlrabi loves melon, she loves grapes, so we medicate a grape every day. And then you just feed it to her, I guess, huh? Yep, the keepers come into the rainforest and they give her a medicated grape every day. So I have read that it can take up to seven days for a sloth to process all its food. Does that change how frequently or how much of the medicine you give? You know, that's a great question. We still give the same amount of medicine every day, but it does take about seven days for her to go to the bathroom. Wow. Alright, so uh, who do we have here? So this is Capenzi. She's one of our giraffes. Hi, Capenzi. She's really social. She loves hanging out <laughs> with us. We're doing all right, yeah. So we've been talking about how we give meds to animals. Giraffe are a little bit different than some of the other animals we've met so far. How do you give medicine to a giraffe? So uh, Capenzi loves bread and she loves kale. So if it's a medicine that we could put in bread or stick to kale, it'll go down the hatch. Well, there you go. And so what do you do, like a, a powder on the bread or is it like a, like a, a bagel smear? How yeah, does that exactly. work? So we're giving her a daily medicine. Think of it as a nutritional supplement. It's a powder. So the keepers make a bread sandwich, wet it down, and then she uses her 18 inch long tongue to help get it down into her mouth. <laughs> Obviously, wow, this is great. Well, and it probably helps that the keepers have such a good relationship with these animals that they trust them enough to, to be able to do something like this. Yeah, Capenzi's really personable, and she loves hanging out with her keepers, and luckily her veterinarian, so it's, it's not a problem. At least today it's not. <laughs> That's great. All right, Dr. Erica, I know when we give medicine, sometimes it's a pill and sometimes it's a shot. With a toad like this, exactly how do you give medicine? Well, we actually could get him to open his mouth and say, ah, and give him something in his mouth, but we prefer to use the skin that absorbs medicine. Now, is there a, a term for medicine going through the skin like that? Sure, I would call it transdermal. And in human medicine, they actually sometimes will give you a patch that goes on your skin to absorb medicine. But in this case, we would just drop it directly onto his skin. Wow, and is there any other way than you could do a transdermal treatment for a toad? Absolutely, we would do a bath. We could fill a little bathtub with some special medicine, maybe an antibiotic or a vitamin or a dewormer, and he could go right into the bath and absorb it through his belly. All right, Dr. Erica, so who do we have here? These are two African lions. They're four years old, and their names are Vulcan and Baron. Very cool. Now, we have been talking about giving animals medicine today. 
what medicine do they need or, or are we just practicing stuff? So these boys are really young and really healthy so they don't get any medicines routinely but we do practice and we practice by giving them daily meatballs that we could medicate okay. or even a, a syringe to get an injection. I mean these guys will willingly take a shot? They are so well trained and their keepers work with them every day that yes, we can use what's called a pole syringe, which gives us a little bit more length than a regular hand syringe. Very cool, well let's go check that out. Valerie has a really good relationship with these lions. She's their primary keeper and they trust her. And so every once in a while she might put something in a meatball that tastes a little bit funny, but usually they gobble it right down. I can see you. <laughs> it looks like that doesn't, doesn't stay on the tongue very long. Exactly. So what we're doing right now is we're getting ready to practice a pole syringe. It's a way to be able to give an injection but not get super close to the lion. So what we'll do, Valerie has them in position and then I'm going to use this back area and give them an injection. Are you ready, Valerie? Mm -hmm. Okay. And we'll just say the word touch when we touch him. Touch. So you can see he doesn't mind. He's really well trained. And this could be a vaccine. It could be an antibiotic. It could be an, even be an anesthetic if we needed to sedate him. What? We're tired. We took the train. All right, Dr. Erica, this is pretty cool. We have this awesome elephant behind us and we're here to talk about giving elephants medicine. How do you give an elephant medicine? Well, elephants eat a lot, as you know, but they like a lot of uh, fruits. So melon, pineapple, bananas, that's how we give elephants medicines. And given that elephants are so big, how much medicine do they need to get? Well, Dari's 55. She's the oldest African elephant that we know of. So she needs a whole lot of medicines. One of her doses is 200 pills. Oh my goodness. And because of her age, I'm guessing this is for arthritis. It's like with an older senior citizen, right? Yep, Dari's like your grandma. So she has some aches and pains. So we have her on a couple anti inflammatories and a couple other pain medicines to keep her comfortable. So you're saying with all of this now, just I just dawned on me, you 200 pills, how do you give 200 pills to an elephant? Is this all, like you mentioned in the fruit, like how many bananas does that take? So first we count out 200 pills and then the keeper stuff 200 pills into individual bananas. Well, this has been an awesome day. Thank you so much for showing us how to give medicine to a sloth, a toad, a, the giraffe even, and lions, and, and now the elephant. This has been so much fun. Thank you. Well, it's been our pleasure to host you here at Utah's Hogle Zoo. Thank you. And thank you guys for joining us as well. We'll see you next time on San Diego Zoo Kids.